Razorback fans, boy, are they pumped up and excited <laughs> as the Hogs yeah. get ready to take on Ole Miss at the top of the hour in the College World Series. Our Andrew Epperson is live at Brewski's Sports Bar in Little Rock, and Andrew, my guess is it's going to get a lot louder <laughs> once that game starts. <laughs> Yeah, you're right, Donna. There have been plenty of people in here over the last hour and a half, I'd say, but the full-on Razorback backers are not here at Brewski's just yet, so we're still half an hour away from first pitch. But places like this are prepared to serve food and drinks to people supporting the Hogs. Other places have had to stock up on gear, and it's taken them weeks to get the plans in place to make sure they have the adequate supply. I like that shirt. Josh Powers watched the Hogs win regionals and supers before stomping Stanford in Omaha's first game. Monday, he stopped by Hogman's game day to buy Omaha's gear. Just looking for a baseball team, man, trying to support the Hogs. So. Powers is like so many Razorback baseball fans after an up-and-down season, ready to throw their support at the hot Hogs. Just the resiliency they've shown to endure and fight through and... You know, offense, defense, and pitching just look great now. Uh, the red version here that's got the baseball stitches. Steve Jenkins owns Hogman's. He knew before the season having enough baseball gear would be important. Well, we've just tried to stay in front of it. And before the Hogs even made it to Omaha, Jenkins made sure local printers were on call. We have local printers that can print, so getting the blank merchandise in, we're able to buy that ahead of time. If the Razorbacks win at all, Jenkins says printers will crank out gear all night and day to meet the demand. We're planning for that now. My friends say, don't jinx us. But, uh, you know, you have to plan. Powers hopes the plan pays off. He's already planning to come back if the Hogs win it all. Yeah, like I said, the full Razorback crew here is not here just yet. But in the next 15 minutes, we'll probably see them rolling around. I actually see a couple of Ole Miss fans in here, but nobody with Razorback shirts. I'm sure that'll change soon. Live in Little Rock, Andrew Epperson, back to you.